Now let's take a look at Lens Data Editor Windows. This windows is the most important windows in Zmax because here is the actually the heart of Zmax, the part of Zmax that we actually do the design. We have different surfaces. We can change the thickness, the refractive index, a lot of parameters. So in Zmax for imaging system, we always start from object. Object is the first surface that we cannot change it, we cannot rename it. It's just, we always have object, stop, and image. We cannot remove those three surfaces. So the beams or the rays start from object, goes through stop, and then a stop, or the last part of the beam is gonna be on the image. So we always have these three. The object is the initiation of the rays. The stop is the kind of aperture stuff or optical system, or, in simple language is the limitation on the bundle of rays in x y directions when the beam is propagating in z direction and the image as i mentioned before that's the last part of our system that all the rays stop or end on that surface so in zmax let's say for example let, let me bring the layout windows here here is the layout windows for surface one this is the surface one. The first surface is the object that we cannot see it because that's in, is, it is at infinity. But let's look at surface one. This is a standard surface, which means that we have radius of curvature, refractive index, I mean the material, which ZMAX uh, use the refractive index. We have thickness, coatings. So let's look at surface one. The first thing is the surface type, which is a standard surface. The comment section, we can put a comment. For example, here is lens, lens one, surface one. We're gonna put a comment, press enter. So we can put different comments, which is highly recommended for putting on different surfaces. The next one is the radius. If radius is more important for you, you can move your radius before the comments, even you can move the all other comments, you can delete them. So for the radius, the radius of this surface is 54.153. And the thickness, the thickness of this surface is 8.7, which means that from this surface to the next surface is 8.7. The material that ZMAX use for the refractive index is SK2 which means that the material from this surface to the next surface is SK2. Usually for optical system, we use NBK7. Now let's say if you want to change it to NBK7, you just put N-BK7, press enter. And because this is a part of ZMAX catalog, ZMAX automatically load NBK7 data for this surface. And we have coatings, we have AR coated, we can remove these coatings, sorry, we can double click. Delete the coating data. Clear semi diameter is the clear aperture on our lens, which means that the surface that is optically important for us, if we can make it smaller, we're going to clip all the beams. So that's the clear semi diameter. Chip zone, it's not that important. Mechanical semi diameter for a optical lens, for the uh, eye optical system, is not pretty important. But we can put some mechanical edge for the lens. It's not optically important. Conic surface, actually, this is a... Uh, we have different options, you know, for different parts. Right now, we are just talking about the standard. Conic surface is... Uh, all the radi radius is for completely a spherical surface. We can change it to aspheric surface. And thermal coefficient is not that important for uh, eye simulation. Now, you can see after each, some of the parameters we have that kind of small square so right now this square is fixed this is my thickness so the thickness of the lens one is fixed let's say i'm, I'm going to change it to a round number let's put eight now for the second thick the thickness of the second surface i want to change it you know if you put it on variables then this thickness and those parameters are the variables of our system, which means that ZMAX allowed to change those parameters during optimization. 
or I can pick up a value from different surface. I can click on pick up. Let's say I'm gonna pick up from surface one with a scale factor of two. I wanna have it twice. Oh, actually twice is a scale factor of half. So the thickness is eight. I'm gonna change it to four. And the offset is zero. Change it to thickness. So it's gonna pick up thickness from surface one. So right now you can see the thickness of surface one is eight. This is half. So it's gonna pick it up from that value. If I change it, for example, to six, the next surface is gonna change to three. But you know, here in these windows, we cannot see any change. In order to see the change, we need to click on this update button, or you can double click on any surface to see the uh, updated version of the windows. Let's say now I'm gonna change it to eight. Double click on that surface, and you're gonna see the effect. So that's uh, for the lens data. Another important thing in lens, lens data editor is that we have a lot of different options or settings. When you click on each surface, for example, on surface one, when you click on this arrow or this button, you can see we have different parameters. You can draw aperture, the size of aperture, scattering, a lot of important parameters. And all those important parameters are listed in the help window. We can search for different parts and we can have it here. And here we have a toolbar that we can do a lot of, for example, we can add a windows, we can make it focal. We have different parameters. We can add a folding mirror between the lens data editors that we are not gonna use it for this course. Now let's take a look at one of the analysis windows, like RMS VS field, or let's say we're gonna take a look at standard spot diagram. So right now we have this is a kind of analysis that you're gonna see. Uh, in most of analysis windows, we have those parts. Here is the data, graphical data. We have text. And in text, we can copy the data. We can print the data. We can save it as a separate file, or even we can copy and paste it in a different text editor or even in Excel. And we have help button here. In the uh, graph windows, we usually use the cursor. If you drag and hold, you can zoom into by build, we can zoom out, zoom in. And here we have some uh, features that you can put a note on your image. You can again do copy do a lot of different parameters and the settings for each windows we can change the setting for example I'm going to change the ray density and you can save all those changes you can change the wavelengths if I want to see just one wavelength or if I want to see just one field I can see my surface for example I can see different surfaces I can uh, do put for example the airy disk um, add polarization, anything, and then I can save it. When I save it next time, when I'm gonna load the spot diagram, we're gonna see the same settings. So here is for one of the analysis windows, and here the data that you can see, you can copy paste the text, and um, again, when we wanna see the result on analysis, we need to update the data to see that or double click on this uh, analysis surface.